Hello, welcome to another video. Um, join me while I'm doing part two of my putting away all these 445 drill colors that I got from Art Dot. So thank you again to Art Dot for two. But yeah, this will be part two of me storing them away. So I did make new like DMC labels to put them all in onto my baggies, which I'm going to put them into my spear storage. And I have a whole bunch of baggies already ready for me there. And I am also going to be charting, um, finishing up um, my homemade DMC chart. Um, this is the, actually the first page. This is what I did on part one. And I just filled in this last column with the drills from the art dot, um, mainly because I've already used the other five columns. Um, the second page, actually I was looking, I was like, wow, I barely even put any drills in the second page. So these must not be as common colors as I've been, or just not common in the, DM, um, in the diamond paintings I'm doing. So yeah, page two, my chart looks really, really sadly empty. So yeah. So the first one is, here it is. 341, which is blue violet. Okay, let me, let me get comfortable. <laughs> so, yeah, so now, so when I first made this video, I wasn't sure what reception I would get from it, but it seems like you guys really did like the video. So, um, and I got several people saying, yeah, you should do a part two. So, here is part two. Um, oh my gosh, apparently. I forgot how to cut things, but I'll get into the groove of it at some point. All right, so I'm gonna be using this mermaid pen. I figured since I was just gonna be single placing, I didn't need to use my other pen that has my multi-placer. Um, I did contemplate um, multi-placing this, but it'll, it would only really save me like two drillings, right? Because I'd still have to multi-place twice since it is in two rows. So yeah, this first color is 341 Blue Violet. And I am just putting them in their own little bag. I'm not going to um, color match with what is currently in my storage just because... I mean, look, it already pretty much filled up a good chunk of this bag. So yeah, I just decided just to keep these on their own. Um, I, I might have to... I know I'm going to have to go to the second box for this video because I'm, yeah, this thing goes up to 535 and my first box only goes up to 499. So I am going to have to get my second box. And I did buy a fifth box. I have four of these boxes for all my D um, current leftover drills. Um, and I, I did end up buying a fifth box because I knew... I would have to get a fifth box for this just because by the time I finish this up, I'm going to just have so many more drills that I'm not going to be able to fit them all in just the four that I have. Um, so yeah, I did end up buying a fifth box. I'm actually contemplating buying a sixth box because I can fit six in the space that I'm putting them um, where I put the spare storage boxes. And I'm like, yeah, maybe I should just buy a six one. And I was thinking, if I buy a six one, I could maybe separate out my rounds and squares and have them in separate boxes. Um, I don't know. That would be like a whole nother revamp, and I just feel like I just revamped this system. So yeah. So that would be a way future thing. And plus, I also kind of want to put my special shapes in this box in these boxes too. So. Um, my special shapes are currently in, in, what are, wait, man, I can't think of the word. They're currently in, um, a binder in baseball, baseball card holders. Um, but yeah, I think with me doing the rhinestone kits, I don't, I'm not going to have enough space, um, to be in there. So yeah, I think I'm just going to put them in a box. And then last week I had, um unboxed a crystal rhinestone kit and um, I was making comment that I didn't like that they were in some different code other than DMC and 
a viewer sent me um, the acrylic code, um, I think that's what it's called, the acrylic diamond code, because the owner of Crystal Canvas Art actually contacted, or like contacted, but um, left a comment and said that they were called the acrylic diamond code. So now I actually have the chart to to match up the the rhinestones to the DMC. So I think I'm going to make new labels or make labels that have both that acrylic diamond color and the DMC color and also this because my labels I don't know if you could tell my labels also have the the name of the color from the DMC chart so I think I'm gonna pretty much make this same kind of label but in in but put DMC and the acrylic code in the same label so that when I put away my rhinestone drills they'll have both um, and I, therefore I could mix in rhinestone drills that either use the DMC or just use the crystal code. I don't know. We'll see. I still have to make that and I still have to type that all up. Um, because yeah, the charts I got were not Excel files, so I'll, I would have to type it up. And also thank you to Kathy for sending me the after the Tin Me Arts um, kidding up where I was saying that I would love to know a conversion between those um, under 150, um, what do you call that, under 150 AB drills if there was a conversion to regular AB, um, DMC numbers and she sent me a chart for that too so thank you. So I think I'll also make labels for the those with also the DMC numbers. So yeah, and so I have this plan for my my special shape, um, storing away my special shapes, but I just haven't implemented yet. So we'll see. We'll see when it actually happens. Um, it will probably be a couple weeks from now because I still have to make the labels and ponder how to do it like a lot of my a lot of why sometimes I don't kick down right away is because I'm pondering if especially if I'm in the middle of possibly making a change I like ponder the change instead of just going off and doing the change <laughs> um but yeah if I do make the labels I will I guess share the templates for them since no one's complained about my my um label templates for like my label templates for this. So um, if I do make the labels with DMC and the acrylic code or the um, under 150 AB DMC, I'll share it. Although I'm trying, now I'm trying to think if there'll be enough because my label paper has like 80, 80 labels per sheet. So I kind of want to maximize that. So fill up the label sheet. But we'll see. This is like in far in the future because it just depends on when I actually feel like making these labels. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are actually really, really pretty color so far. But I, I still haven't found the... Um, so if you watch my first video, I said my chart has 453 colors, but the art dot pack only had 445 colors. So I'm curious what what's missing so or because this this chart I made from a um, cross stitch website I'll actually link below um, a cross stitch website that has a downloadable version of an Excel spreadsheet with these colors and numbers names and things like that so if you want to make one of these yourself um, you could use that as a starting point um, I did also get asked, um, like it made it sound like people would be willing to pay money to me it, for this chart. And then I contemplated doing it. Um, so when I first made this chart, I actually had plans that, okay, so I, I, I made this chart around the same time I made the video for um, my, how I do my diamond painting journal. Um, and then my plan was the following week or two weeks after that, I would make a video about this DMC chart and then share my 
template or share the chart because I figured why not? It didn't take me that long to make. Um, but then I, I didn't end up doing it because there are Etsy shops selling um, a downloadable version of a very similar item of this. And I just didn't want to give this away for free when people were maybe making a living from selling a digital download of this. So, so then I scrapped that and, and then just started filling this out, you know, off screen and, but then when I got the opportunity to do, to do the product review for this art dot 445 drill pack, I was like thinking that this would be a perfect video series to to put them away and fill out this chart at the same time since um you guys seem to like my kidding down videos and my kidding up videos so i was like okay this is pretty much a kidding up and a kidding down video so let's make it into a video series so then so then since i did show my chart people did ask um about it and um i i, I even had someone ask if I could print it out and um, send it to them and I mean of course they would pay for it but I'm just like I don't know that's I, I just never was I'm never I'm not that interested in selling <laughs> items shipping items um, I might in the future maybe um, but at this point I'm just yeah I'm just not I just don't have the time or I'm just not prepared or for all I know, it's a lot easier than I think, um, and I should just open an Etsy shop and sell a digital download of this. But I just didn't have the time last week to research all of this stuff, so it might happen in the future. But for now, I don't have anything to... I, I don't have a place for you to download this if you want to download it, just because, like I said, I didn't want to just give it out for free in case the, the other places that are selling a digital download. I just didn't want it mine to hinder their sales or anything like that. But I did think about being competition. That's a little different. Like if I posted mine as a digital download on Etsy too, but I just didn't have the time last week to 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 research Etsy um, before I did this. And plus, um, okay, so what am I on now? 367. Okay, here it is. I'm on the next strip, so I just had to make sure I got the right strip. So, ooh, this is a nice green. Um, so, yeah, I didn't have the time really last week to research it. So, yeah, as of me making this video, nope, I, I don't have an Etsy shop where I'm selling a digital download of this. I'm not sure if I'm interested in even doing it because um, it's just one extra thing for me to, to have to monitor, I guess. Um, and I was like, eh, I don't really feel like looking it up. And plus this week, so since, okay, so at the time of me making this video, I'm really, really close to a thousand subscribers, like less than 10, 10 people, 10 subscriptions away from being a thousand subscribers. So this week I've been kind of looking up um, the steps for monetizing a channel because I don't want to mess up monetizing a channel um i i don't anticipate any problems but who knows so i've been doing that research this week to make sure when if hopefully i think by by next week or at least the week that this video is getting posted i'm hoping i'll reach a thousand subscribers then and so i just want to make sure i know what i'm doing if i do um when i do apply for the monetization um and so that's been taking up my more of my like research time instead of looking up an Etsy shop or something to post. For all I know, it's really, really easy and I shouldn't even like sweat it. But I do kind of like to research a lot of things before I do things. Maybe it makes me overthink everything, but I just want to be prepared. So yeah, nope, maybe, but like this, 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 it, it, um, by the time I complete it, it should be a 
nine part series because I do have nine pages of this DMC chart. So unless, you know, maybe I, like I'll get much faster at doing this since I after the first the first time you do it, it's a little bit more. Oh, I have apparently two pieces of paper in here. I'm going to take one out. Um, so I'm going to be more used to what I'm doing here, so it'll be go through much faster. But yeah, this should be a nine part series since I have nine pages of this um, DMC chart. And I figure it was easier just to use the pages as a good stopping point. So yeah, I don't even know what I was talking about. But yeah, no, I'm yeah. As of me doing this video, I'm really, really close to a thousand. So I'm hoping I reach it this week. So yeah, I've been searching or not searching, but like watching videos about what's the next steps, you know, making sure I don't go and botch something up. Oh, and then also um, this week I am getting my second COVID shot. Yay! Um, I'm lucky that I live in an area or country where it is available, like readily available because I had to wait till it was open to the regular public because I'm not old enough for the, the other categories and I don't have any like overlying conditions for me to be eligible for that category. So I had to wait till it was open to the general public. So now it's actually, this Thursday will actually be three weeks from when I got my first shot, which seems to have just been like yesterday, but 370 is mustard. Is that what I did? Yeah, that's 370. It's just the color on this is a little bit more brown, but this is a little bit more green. But I do see this drill here, which is mustard, is also green, and this is brown. So, so I mean, um, that's this is why I, I thought it would be good to do this this chart because the printed color will look a lot different than the color on plastic on the drill. So, so even though I do have this chart and they do relatively match. Um, just printers are just not always perfect. I mean, if you take a picture of something, if you take a picture of your diamond painting, it doesn't always like match really, really well. Sometimes you, you take a picture and then you're like, wow, that looks a lot more purple and my, and the, in real life, it's more blue, you know, kind of thing like that. So, so yeah, I was just making sure I was not off on, I wasn't on the wrong color. Okay. I think, I think after the video, I'm going to have to, um, yeah, I'm running out, like this thing is getting really full. So I think I'm going to have to move around my, my stuff in my boxes because I did buy the fifth box so I can move them around and, and this is getting really full. But I know like, I think my second box or third box isn't that full. So I'm, I might not even have to go to the fifth box yet, um, but we'll see. Um, but I already got it, so maybe I should. Um, I'm going to try to, because my last box is all my 3000s, and it just seems so nice to just have all my 3000s in one box. Um, but if I am going into the fifth box, I will um, have to split the 3000s in some way. So I'll have to go see where, if there's a good cutting spot in the 3000s. And then once I figure that out, I'll put that cutting spot in the 3000s in the fifth box and, and then leave, I don't know, how many rows do I need for my specials? Like would they, I might just leave two rows for my specials. Like one row will be my, I don't think I have enough ABs, but we'll see. I don't, I, I just don't think I have enough of the specials to fill up that many um drills i mean rows so but i guess we'll see so 372 yep we're still on the mustards but yeah i think after i'm done with this i might have to spread out my drills put them into the fifth box i'm gonna have to cut some some 
dividers. Oh, but yeah, since I did say I was getting my second um, COVID shot on Thursday, um, what am I posting on Thursday? Um, the video I post on Thursday, I might not, or and Friday, depending on if I actually am one of those people who have the, 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 you know, symptoms after the second shot, I might be too lethargic to, <laughs> to respond to anything on the Thursday and Friday video. So might be, there might be a little lull before I respond, but we'll see. For all I know, I just get the shot and I get my sore arm and then that's it. That's when I got my first shot, so. But yeah, Thursday, I may or may not be out of commission to respond to review, uh, reviews, comments. Um, but yep, we'll see. We'll see. And, and since, and if I get like a really big reaction, I might be too tired to record um, next weekend. So um, next week's videos, not this, not the week, this week's videos, but next week videos might be me going through my um, posting just some of my really old, like not really old, but um, I do have a lot of recorded videos that have not been posted yet and I've just been kind of posting them whenever there's a lull or something so I might next week might just be a might be I don't know or I might record some stuff during the week before Thursday in anticipation for um, possibly not recording during the weekend since I do most of my um, recording during the weekend before so yeah We'll see. I think I have enough videos that there shouldn't be a lull next week. Um, but if there is, yeah, no, I have enough videos. It'll just be like really old videos that I recorded like a month ago and I'm just like now posting it because I'm serious. I have, I have a, um, so when I post my videos on YouTube, um, you can, when you post it, they're like, do you want to post it now? Or do you want to put it in a schedule? So I always put everything on a schedule. And unless I know exactly what date it's going to go put on, I actually put it on for like the date I post it, but in 2022. Um, so like, let's say I recorded something in January, like, or let's just do like today's May 1. So if I put this video up and I didn't anticipate putting this up on Monday, because I am putting this up on Monday, um, if I didn't know when I was going to put this up, I would put it up for May um, 1, 2022. And that way, all of my unposted videos are on YouTube in some order, but um, it won't be posted until <laughs> it's not scheduled until next year. So, um, so if anything ever happens to me and like my channel just like disappears, like a year after I recorded the video, my video might just pop up. Um, not nah, okay. Now that's morbid. I'm not going to talk about that, but, but yeah, I do, I do record my videos and then I do like, um, I, you might notice I do very little editing of my videos. So I record the video. I, um, I pretty much upload it. Um, onto YouTube and then while it's uploading on YouTube, that's when I make my thumbnail and because it does take actually a while for a video to load onto YouTube. So I upload the, I upload the video, make my thumbnail and then figure out what I'm going to put in the description while it's all loading. But by the time it is loaded, I do just put in a, put in the date for next year and, and then and then like every week I just ponder which, which videos I'm going to put up that week. So I do have the videos I recorded during the weekend, but I also have a couple videos that were pre-recorded that have not been posted yet. And then I kind of just put those in when, whenever. Cause I mean, I sometimes 
record two kit up videos in a weekend and and I'm not going to put both of those up during the week, so or I record two like unboxings in a week, but weekend, but I'm not gonna put both of those up during the week. So yeah, I do have a couple old videos, not old videos, but unposted videos. Um well, they're posted, they're just in the private portion of my YouTube channel, but unpublic videos. So yeah, if I'm not able to record next weekend because I'm feeling horrible from side effects of the COVID shot, I do have videos, I guess, to, to put up. And it might be a good thing because then I could put up my... Um, videos, my older videos that just don't have a slot yet in my um, schedule. But yeah, this is just anticipation in case things like that happen. I have no idea if it'll happen. I'm hoping I'll just be one of those people who, who gets the shot and be like, that was nothing. Um, but my sister was able to actually get her shot earlier than me just because so then um so like lots of times um at least here in washington state when there's extra um when there are extra vaccines they do put out like a notice saying there's extra vaccines do you want like in this spot if you could make it at this time um you could get it even if it's not your turn yet so my sister did do one of those. I contemplated doing one of them, but it, it was just it was just too much like I just didn't want the rush of me just I don't know. I like to plan things out, so I liked it being scheduled instead of a uh, oh it just happened to be open today. Um and there happened to be extras. So yeah. So my sister actually got her second shot um last week. And she was telling me that she felt hor she told me she felt horrible the next day. So, so I don't know if genetics has anything to do with it, but maybe I'll probably have the same symptoms as she did. We, I mean, she did get the Pfizer one. I also did. So, so yeah, I'm I'm preparing myself for feeling horrible next in on Thursday or well my sister said it was the day after she felt horrible so I'm, I'm anticipating feeling horrible next Friday so one good thing is Friday is actually um, my Friday off so I don't even have to take a sick day or maybe I sh it would it's not a good thing it was my day off because now I can't use my sick time for a time I'm actually sick. So the hazards of being relatively healthy is you end up accumulating so much sick time and that you never end up using. And I'm like, man, nah, I would have a real legitimate reason. Nah. nah, that's fine. It just happened to be my Friday off. Because I get every other Friday off because um, I work nine hour days. Um, well, it's nine-hour days, and then every other Friday is an eight-hour day, so that becomes my eight-eighty-hour, eighty-hour for two weeks kind of thing. Because um, yeah, the normal work week in the U.S. is the forty hours, so for two weeks it's eighty hours, and if you work eight nine-hour days and one eight-hour day, there you could you could have your every other Friday off. Well, most of my coworkers do an ev either every other Friday off or every other Monday off. Um, so it's a great schedule. It gives you a three day weekend um, every other week. But I mean, oh, this one, that one was really small. So it gives you a, a, a it gives you a three-day weekend every other week, but also working a nine-hour day, it, it, it is tiring too. So I remember when I first moved to that schedule, 
I was like, wow, I didn't think just adding one more hour in a day to working would make a difference, but it does. So it takes a little getting used to, but I do really like having that every other Friday off. So let's see. I did remember to put some water next to me, so I'm gonna take a little water break. Cause yeah, I was thinking it, it gets hard to talk this much when for like an hour. I don't know how people do it. <clears throat> but yeah, for this is doesn't seem that am I in the right color? Yeah, I am on the right color. It just seems like this is much lighter than the actual color here, but this is why I'm doing this because, yeah, my printed color, this will not always match. So. So yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Perhaps I'll just, just talk about the, what I'm doing now, so. So yeah, um. If you are interested in making this chart, um, I did, I don't know if I said it already, but um, I'll put a link to the Across Stitch website that does have a downloadable Excel spreadsheet to that have um, the Cross Stitch DMCs. There are a lot more DMCs in that Cross Stitch um, um, list than this. I did take out all of the numbers before 151 um because or was it 150 wait yeah no i took out all the colors before 150 i only included b5200 it also had ecru and like blank and white but i have yet to ever see any of those colors in a in any of the diamond paintings i have done um, I have been told that someone, someone in a comment left, a, someone left a comment saying that they had gotten Ecru at one point, but I have never had Ecru, so it's not in my chart, but if it ever does show up, I will just put it in the, the last page, because I do have a couple extra spots on the last page. Um, but yeah, if you do, I, so I just made this chart on on Excel, well, you know, Open Office's versions of Excel, because yeah, too cheap to pay for uh, Microsoft Office. So, but <clears throat> I did just make this on on a spreadsheet software, and what I ended up doing was each of these columns, rows, rows here is um, 0.25 inches, and and then each of these columns here for where I put my drills are is also 0.25 inches because um, 0.25 inches is pretty close to six millimeters and um, round drills are 2.8 millimeters. So I knew I wanted to put at least a six millimeters for the round drills. Square drills are 2.5 millimeters. So there is a little bit more space between each of these, but um, I wanted to have enough space for both the round for, for the round drills, so it the squares were the ones that had to take the extra space. So yeah, so these these rows are 0 0.2 point, point yeah, 0 0.25 um, inches wide, and then the columns are 0.25 inches wide here to these columns, and then the rest I just kind of may um made the size that i wanted them to be and if you do make it yourself you'll get more power to change the fonts to be what you want it to be um and and then what i'm using to stick the drills on is actually just double-sided tape um i do have several rows a roll roll rolls why can't I speak rolls of double-sided tape um the what I ended up um, getting was a pack with multiple sizes and I have one size that's 0.25 
inches, or I think this might be six millimeters. I, I don't remember if their sizes were by millimeters wide or inches wide, but I think this might be six millimeters or 0.25 inches, um, or a quarter of an inch if you don't understand why. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, this this is all just double-sided tape. Um, but yeah. It actually isn't that hard to make this, well, at least for me, it wasn't that hard to make this, so, um, so yeah, if you know how to do X normal-ish Excel things, it shouldn't be that hard to, to make this, and if I ever get my stuff together and possibly put this in an Etsy shop or something, or something where you're able to sell a digital download of something, I'll, I'll probably try to advertise it on this channel, right? But yeah, not at that point, like I said. Oh, also, and thank you to everyone who gave me suggestions on what to call this series. When I was making the video originally, it was more I was just kind of brainstorming in my brain what what I should call it because that's the hidden parts of making a YouTube video is what do I actually put in the title and the description box. Um, I could just, you know, make it very generic and just not care what's in my title and description box, but apparently I, I, can't, I don't work that way. Apparently I care what I put in my title in my description box and in my um, thumbnail. So yeah, thank you for everyone who gave me suggestions. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking of either A, just sticking to the exact same title that I and um, thumbnail words that I did for my part one because for consistency sake, or I was also thinking um, of calling this um, store and chart with me. Um, yeah, I think that's what I, I think it was Sharon who gave the suggestion of calling it chart with me and then I thought of putting the word store in there so I'm thinking of calling it store and chart with me. Yeah, store and yeah, I don't know, part two, store and chart with me, part two. Or I might just be boring and just go for the, what, I, what did I call it, away, call it storing away 445 drills, part one. Um, I'll finish my first 80. So I put away 80. Woo so now we're in my second label sheet. 437. Tian. So 444 is Lemon Dark. Yeah, so I was thinking of calling it Store and Chart with Me. Um, part two. Yeah, but then leaving in the actual, like, I would put that into the thumbnail, but in the description box, I was just going to call it the same thing I did the previous time. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So, and then someone also asked me if I um, prefer single placing and uh, or multi placing. I am a I'm a multi placer, um, but I will. I'm a multi-placer, but most of my multi-placing is only the smaller placers. I, I, I only do, I do use the skinny white placers because, um, because the, the normally big clear placers, your drills do actually start like going into them, um, getting stuck in them. So I do use the skinny placers and I primarily use the four and the seven placer. I do have the 10 placer and I think it's a 10 placer and I have tried it, but I didn't like using the 10 placer just because I feel like you, 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 you lose control of, of it more. And plus it's harder to get like the 10 drills all in a row. Oh wait, I'm on the next, I was like, where's my drill? So I'm in the next. I'm on the next strip already, 445, 
it's I lose control when I'm multi-placing if I go to too too much. So I my favorite multi-placer is actually the four placer. Um, I don't tend to go. I'm gonna take out these not yellow drills. Um, wow, this one had a lot of. I don't know what to say. Oh yeah, I I don't. I tend to use the four placer the most because I feel like you get the most um, control when you don't do that big of a multi-place. Um, but I do also use the seven placer a lot also. But I don't tend to do really um, color blocky images. So most of the time, the most I'm using is my four placer. And I always have um, the two pens with me. I have you know, I have one pen with a four placer and one pen with a seven placer. And then I also have separate pens for my rounds and my squares. So I only have, I don't have that many pens. So um, I do keep my pens for my rounds and my pens for my squares, like in separate because of the multi-placer. Cause I think um, if you, if you use the, the white thinner placers, they do kind of, after using it a while, you do kind of get grooves in them from your drills. And well, squares and rounds are different sizes and different shapes. So um, they kind of spread out in the multi-placer slightly differently. Like, um, like in the seven placer, sometimes I could do eight for the squares just because the squares are smaller than the rounds. So I do kind of keep the multi-placers separately for rounds and squares just because I feel like they they gain the grooves of the diamond drills and since there are differences in shape and size of the rounds and squares I I just keep them separate so that so that my my placers are grooved correctly based off of the of the shape but yeah I don't have that many pens I am I am in the process of trying to find more lightweight pens, so I did place an order in Etsy for a wood pen, which I heard is much lighter than the acrylic pens. Right now I'm just using this mermaid pen since I'm only single placing and these these like gimmicky pens are really, really light. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, since I'm just single placing this, I'm just using this pink pen, but I don't normally use this, I mean a pink pen, this mermaid pen. I don't normally use this um, in day-to-day -day diamond painting because I am I am a multi-placer, so I need I need the pens with the two the two tips. Um, and yeah. What does I what else can I talk about? Hmm. Trying to th trying to think, what did I talk about last time, man? No. Um, but yeah, no, I, I do, like I, I do multi-place. I, I actually did my first probably 20 diamond paintings all single place before I was like, you know, I should learn how to do this multi-placer. Um, because it, it is for some reason, I don't know why, <clears throat> a little bit intimidating to do the multi-placer. Um, and when you're first starting out, you, know, you just can't get it straight. So I did single place pretty much probably the first 20 diamond paintings I did. But once I figured, once I at least was happy enough with my technique for a multi-placer, um, I, I do multi-place. But like I said, I stick to those smaller multi-placers just because I think you lose control in the bigger ones. Especially if, um, if the canvas is printed bigger than the drills. What I mean is that you end up having to spread out your drills a little bit. Even in rounds, I've noticed this sometimes where, <clears throat> where the can, like the drills are smaller than what the canvas is so that you end up having to spread out your drills. So if you end up having to spread out your drills, the 10 placer might actually take longer because you end up having to spread out more. Um, you tend to have to spread them out more than if you did just a four placer. 
Um, I don't know. That's what I feel like I've seen, so that's why I like it when when the drills are like the perfect size for multi-placing without having to spread them out. Because I'm like, wow, they actually printed the drills, I mean the canvas, to coordinate with the size of the drills. So, <laughs> so yeah, the only reason I'm asking about, I'm talking about multi-placing is someone did make a comment on my last video of this series about the multi-placing. Um, and then, yeah, what else? <laughs> so I'm also finding that I'm actually getting, um, a lot, I'm getting like new diamond painters watching my channel and thank you. Thank you for watching my channel. Um, and hopefully anything I do will be helpful in your, the beginning of your journey. Um. So I, I think I will end up doing a little bit more informative videos um, once I figure out what I'm going to do. And once I actually have space to put it on, <clears throat> to put the video up, because apparently even with, okay, so right now if I'm going to continue this series, this is going to be an every Monday thing. So there's my Monday taken up. And then I've had to to move my unboxings to two unboxings um, in a week because I've been getting contacted by um, a couple companies to do these product reviews. So, um, so I had to up my on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then Wednesdays are my completed video. And I've been always I've been putting up a kidding up video every week. Um, so Fridays, now Fridays are my kidding up video. So I don't have a spot unless I open a six day. And I don't know if I want to do six days a week um, channel. So um, I think in the weeks where I have less unboxings maybe, because yeah, I don't know where else I would put it in. Um, if I just don't happen to have... Um, because I, I figured there'll be a point where I'm not going to have a um, diamond painting company collaboration. And I actually don't buy that many things. It might seem like it, but I actually don't. Um, I'll probably put it in during one of those weeks where I don't anticipate getting... Um, having two unboxings up in that week. So, or I might make an extra Sunday video. Um, we'll see. But yeah, for now, I don't really want to go more than five videos a week. Um, five videos a week is a lot, you know? <laughs> and then plus, I have my kidding downs. So when am I putting my kidding downs? Um, I actually... Yeah, when am I going to put my kidding down video? So... 472. Yeah, I'm on the right one. So yeah, when am I going to put down my kidding up? I mean, kidding down video. So yeah, man, am I going to have to open that sixth day in my... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with just doing my Monday to Friday. It may... So what, end up do, um, what ends up happening for me is um, I do, I do pre-record these and then I have them post at 8.15 a.m. Pacific time on Monday to Friday and depending on if I'm working from home or not, um, I will sometimes respond to comments during my lunch break. And if I'm, if I'm not at, if I'm at work, then I don't respond to comments until after I get home from work. Um, so, so yeah, usually I get home from work and I'm like, oh, look, these are all the nice comments hopefully nice <laughs> comments I got. And then, but then now if I do a fifth day, yeah, no, I mean a sixth day, I kind of keep my weekends kind of free. So I'm, I'm probably not as responsive during the weekend. Um, I do record a lot during the weekend too. Um, so I'm pretty busy recording and then editing or, and then uploading videos. Or I might like, like now that <clears throat> I'm going to be able to get my vaccine 
and I'll, I should be fully vaccinated two weeks after that. Um, in case you don't know, you're, there's supposed to be a two week period after you're vaccinated before you're actually fully vaccinated. Um, and then I might actually want to go on some hikes during the weekend. So yeah, I don't know. On some weekends. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if I want to put in that six day. But yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll try to put in the more informative videos when I have a lull in my unboxings um, because that's the only other, that's the only thing I could think of to take away. Or I might not put one of these videos. So I'm on my second box now. See, my second box is much less full, so I might, I might not need to, yeah. My first box is bursting, but yeah, it was just a good stopping point. Because otherwise, if I, yeah, I might have to stop at 450 on that first box. That won't even take out that much. But yeah, it was a good stopping point on my first box to do up to the 400s. But, but yeah, it's bursting. I wonder if I should just take out some of my 310s and just put them in a separate place. Because I think I have three bags of 310s in there. Um... But yeah, I think if I'm going to put in some of the more informative ones, it'll have to be on on a Thursday when I don't have another unboxing. <clears throat> but we'll see. Or maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, no, I, I like I like the kidding up too much that I'm just going to probably always have a kidding up um, every week. Even if I can't keep up with my completions. Because, yeah. Getting up is a much faster process than actually diamond painting. Diamond painting takes hours. That's probably why I have too much storage, because I just keep getting up, even though <laughs> I shouldn't. Like, I'm like, I have so many that I haven't finished yet that are kitted up. Um, well, actually, no, I have a couple. I have several that I have kitted up that I haven't finished. Um, I'm actually planning to record a kidding up video after this is done and I drink a lot of water because see now I'm pondering what I'm going to be talking about during the kidding up if I'm using up all my talking material during but yeah I usually have something else to talk about during the kidding up I try to for some reason I try to find stories that have something to do with the diamond painting I'm actually kidding up I actually don't know what I'm gonna kid up I'll have to go see um I think I might kit up um, the the how like two of the house plants um, diamond paintings I got from the six pack um, that I got from Amazon that I posted last week. Those should be really quick because they're they're like massive amounts of color blocking white. Oh, there! I maybe I could make um, while I'm doing. Those, I might make a how I um, multi-place video. I'm not going to call it a tutorial because it's I'm not trying to teach you how to multi-place. I'm just going to show you how I multi-place and you can decide whether or not how I do it is, is um, good for you. Because yeah, like I said, I'm not planning. I don't, I don't want to make it a teaching thing because... I'm, I'm not I'm not saying the way I'm doing things is the correct way it's just the way I do it um, so yeah I'll just call it a how I multi-place diamond painting video yeah I think those would be a good a good um, they would those would be really good diamond paintings to do that kind of video since they are a ton of white um, and plus white Oh man, I'm gonna have to like multi-place that really, really well because you can tell when white drills have not been placed well. Um, so yeah, no pressure to me. I must show you how I multi-place and actually do it well. And remarkably, when you're doing things on video, things don't sh don't things don't happen correctly for whatever reason, um, as opposed to when you're just you know diamond painting off video. Maybe just the added pressure of being recorded. 
makes things not as makes things just not happen correctly. But but you know what? Those are massive diamond paint or not massive, but there's massive amounts of white in those diamond paintings. So maybe I could just like record it and then be like, oh man, I messed up in this recording and then just record it again because I have a bunch of them anyway. See, I'm even telling you my the, the tricks of my trade now. So yeah. Oop, okay, so I think we're almost we're almost done with this page. And these are some really nice blues. So yeah. If I ever did I is there no 504? Did I mess things up? Here's 503, 500, 502. I'm just making sure I not maybe this is the first one that didn't have a DMC. I'm just looking at my garbage. Here's 501. So yeah, I don't, I don't seem to have 504. So that must be my first DMC where I don't have anything, unless I'm like. Yeah. Just making sure I'm not <laughs> completely, completely off. Here, 502, uh, 500. Come on, I just threw it away. 501, 503. Yeah, this is 505. Yep, and there's no 504. So, wait, let me go get my thing that I threw away. Because now I'm going to have to cover this up. Wait, do I actually have 504? I'm just going to go see if I actually have any 504 in, in my spare storage. Yeah, no, 504 is empty for me. So I don't even have them in round or square. So I wonder if 504 is one of those ones that are not in the normal um, diamond painting DMC. So I'm just going to cut... A piece of the double-sided tape um, that I cut off in there just so that I could cover up that spot so it doesn't get gross but yeah 504 seems to be the first one that I don't have a DMs um, the drill for and based off of all the storage I all the diamond paintings have done which I've done 70 Plus, I think now um, I don't I don't have it so in rounds or squares so yeah okay there's my first I don't have it man now I'm gonna just have a not use label it'll just be sad there but not being used 505 I'm glad I noticed, because <laughs> is this really 505? Let's see, why did I throw the bag away? It must be on the top. It's not like it's. It just seems really dark compared to. Oh wait, it's right here. 505. Yep, 505. Cause yeah, the the color on on my chart is really off. Like it's it says it's grass green dark and it's a really light color, but this does look like what grass green would probably be. Um, so yeah, now I'm so yeah. So even though I do have this color here, how my printer printed it, it's not perfect. So yeah, that's why. Having the real drill to compare to is a good thing. So yeah, also I think once I complete this, I will do maybe one kitting down of 
leftover drills that don't have a DMC. I so far, I only have one that I haven't kitted down yet and I don't think I want to go through all my bags of no DMC list um, colors. So yeah, I don't think I want to, I don't want to do that. So. And I'm on the belief that even when the diamond paintings don't have DMCs, um, they are still in DMC order because I've noticed, you know, the placement of the black is always makes sense that it would be 310 or if, if it's not there, I figure it's the placement where 939 is. So, so yeah, I do have one diamond painting right now that's, I've finished that doesn't have DMCs. So when I finish this, um, so I won't kit that down because normally how I kit those down is I just put them in a baggie and then I toss them into, uh, to, uh, what's it called? I, I have them in a yogurt container right now. Um, and yeah, I just toss them in there. No organization, just toss it in there. So yeah, those I don't, I don't have this great desire to go matchy match them. Um, but yeah, for future ones that I haven't kitted down, I think that's what I'm going to do is use this um, DMC chart like and use this to color match the drills and fill those out. Man, I should totally not put this away until I take out my sticker. So that's 518, especially now that I found the drill, the drill, the um, color that does not apparently have a DMC in this. So yeah. 518 and I haven't drilled it yet. I think I got thrown off by the actual one that's missing. So maybe I have to pay more attention to this than I me mean, just chatting. <laughs> and I probably would have been done with this already if I wasn't trying to find <laughs> which ones I was which one was missing and making sure before going on that it really was missing. So 519. Okay, I'm going to make this, do this first. But yeah, sky blue. So yeah. 519 is sky blue. What else am I going to talk about? But I'm almost done, so... I'm actually almost done with the strip, and I only need, like, two from the next strip. 519. Sky blue. Okay. 520 is firm green dark. Oh yeah, I think I was talking about kitting down a diamond painting with um, no DMCs and using this to to compare to. Um, I'm going to do that once for one leftover drills. Um, and if I just don't like it, I'm, just, I'm not going to do it again. Because um, I have plenty of leftover drills. I don't know if I want to make the effort to match DMC list drills to a chart um but who knows i'm i'm hoping that more and more diamond paintings will just include seriously just include the dmc um although i could see where it's confusing to people who don't who are very new to diamond painting where there's like the first number on there and then there's the code and there's the second code like um i had a coworker asked me about it that um tried out the diamond painting because they see my diamond paintings on my in my cubicle um and then they try it out and they're they're asking me what that extra number is and so it's not obvious to new people what that extra number the dmc number is so i i'm i'm, I'm thinking a lot of companies just that are doing them more mass produced um, cheap ones that you could get like on Amazon are not including the DMC because you technically really don't need that information and it's only us crazy people who store them away and are we really crazy us really highly 
organize people who cannot throw them away or put them all in a jar, which sometimes I, I swear I see those and I'm like, no, why are you putting them all in a jar? Um, <laughs> although I might end up doing that to my DMC list ones. Like, it, there's a point where the, you, the effort is not worth it, um, especially when you are like me who has a lot of drills. Um, but we'll see. I, I also only have a few of the the um, DMC list square drills, so I might put those away because I need my I need square drills um, for the heaven and earth designs. Which I'm actually at this point of me recording this, I am actually done with the first picture of my heaven and earth designs. I just finished it last night. Um, no, no, wait, I finished it like two nights ago. Um, and I just, I haven't recorded the completion review yet. I'll, I'll probably record it today or tomorrow. Um, depending on if I want to do it before my kidding up recording. We'll see. I'll probably record it today and tomorrow and it will be posted, not this week, because I already have something for um, this week, a completion for this week. Um, but the following week or the week after that, because I do, I did finish a couple, yeah, I need to go to my next strip, um, but I only need the 524 and 535, so I'm just gonna leave those in the box and just get the last two. I am, I just haven't, yeah, I have to record the completion review um, of it. So I did, I did complete that one. Um, I actually really highly enjoyed it. I should just stop talking about it because I need to talk about that during the actual completion review, right? Um, <laughs> and then I also completed two small projects, which I think I might just put in the same video, even though they're from different vendors and they're completely different because one was a special drill, um, partial, and one was just, you know, a square drill. Um, I did complete two small projects, um, mainly because I didn't have a finish for like two weeks because I was working on more time consuming ones. And then I was just like, I need to do a small one that will be finished because I need that satisfaction of a finish. Um, so sometimes the, the, the small diamond paintings I think are great for when you are, when you need that you need that finish to give you that satisfaction. Um, so I do keep, a, I do keep, I do have a lot of the snack, snacky size ones, um, just for, just so that, you know, you have that finish because the big ones, no matter how fast you are, are still going to take a while. Um, and and sometimes you just need, you need the win. <laughs> so yeah, there's the last color, ash gray, very light. Wow, that's very light. It doesn't look very light. <laughs> Makes you think that the other ones that are not very light are gonna be really dark. Because even my printed color is pretty dark, so. Okay, so. There's that one. So this uh, this ends part two of the video. So here it is close up. I think I might have drilled this a little bit better than I did last week. So it looks like we were able to finish all of them. And there is the one missing drill, which was 504 blue green, very light, which looks like a really pretty color. Like that shouldn't be one they skip, right? <laughs> all right. Thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.